Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, and this is Bernardo. It's been a while that I uploaded a video, and today's video is about Windows Server 2012. Now, what about Server 2012? Something I like about doing is SIP prep. Now, system preparation is basically you install what you need to install, you shoot these commands to it it shuts down you basically able to take this image and slap it into another machine and everything that you installed originally on your reference machine is there that's basically considered like a golden image or a uh, a custom image now servers you normally don't have to do a SIP prep you basically put the CD in, you install it, hey, you do what you need to do. If it's a web server, you install those features. If it's a file share server, you install those features, you do whatever you want to do. Now, I have some clients that love to have uh, images of custom stuff. In case something fails, they could just slap it in. They don't have to call me and they just use the custom image. It has everything that needs installed and done. Now, I have a server right here. Uh, you can basically install, like I have, let's say I have WDS. I got the Windows Deployment Services already installed this machine. And I want to uh, prep it up so I could take this image and put it on a virtual machine or slap it on a hard drive. So that what you want to do is, is two ways to do SIP prep. Believe it or not, SIP prep was not removed from Server 2012. Thank God. It's in the same location that you would normally find it on Windows Server 2012. 2008 R2 as well as also Windows 7 and Windows 8 um, so if you let's go into Explorer go to computer C Drive Windows system 32 and within system 32 you have that folder sit right double click on that guy and then you do all the magic now the second way to do it is if you guys are um, command guys you know command guys you basically need to navigate to that location and then do a CD SIP prep and then again just run the SIP prep uh, command and do it that way so there's two ways uh, if you're into more of a command prompt the command prompt is mostly done if you're using core version of the server which is you don't need to you don't have the graphical user interface so most likely you're using a command prompt or a PowerShell command prompt uh, if you have the graphical user interface like I do, you can basically navigate into you know the Windows System 32, SIP prep, and then run it, box it up, and that's it. You're good to go. You can actually take it, drop it somewhere else, and all the features that you install inside that machine, uh, you will have it on the the machine that you install in this image. So that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, quick tip, and uh, catch you guys later. Peace out.